all all tech geek what's up again joe your two channel versus two, uh, four channel atmos and binaural demo is eye opener for upgrading the four channel atmos setup want to see your take on front heights versus overheads front heights versus overheads Oh yeah, yeah. I've had this long discussion. I got I got to be careful because Reverend Slim is in here, and he's our he's our uh, Atmos expert. Yeah. So I got to be careful. So here's what I've noticed, man. I think it depends on the mix, but one issue, you know, a specific thing that I've noticed with Atmos is it depending on how it's mixed, right? So there's an Atmos demo where there's a helicopter that flies around you in a circle. Right, it's only in the height speaker. So if you were able to turn off all your speakers except your height speakers, you would notice that. Oh, the opposite. If you were able to turn off all your speakers, um, all of your height speakers, and leave the other ones on, if you were to play that with Atmos, you shouldn't hear anything in your ear level speakers. Right. So it's only in the height speakers. Right. With four speakers, you can hear that it's in a circle. So this is what I noticed when I moved from two to four speakers. It goes in a circle. Okay. Square, circle, whatever. When I had two speakers, that same exact demo sounds like the helicopter was just going left to right. You know? I could not tell with the two height speakers that it wasn't going in a circle. Now, a lot of people are going to say, oh, whoops. Of course. You know, how could it possibly go in a circle? With All you can do is align, right? Um... But I would have kind of hoped that it, that Atmos would be smart enough. You know, the algorithm, not the guys that make it, but the algorithm itself would be smart enough to say, hey, you know what? You only have two speakers, so let's not keep everything in the height high channel, right? Let's, let's use the height speakers to kind of give you the perception of height, but let's use your ear-level speakers because you probably have five or seven ear-level speakers. Let's use that to kind of rotate around, right? Both are a compromise on having the four speakers up there, but I think that at l- getting the idea that it's going around you in a circle is better. And um, again, one of the reasons why I'm kind of a fan of Oro, I can take that exact same demo. It mixes down to like 5.1 or 7.1, something like that. But Oro, the up mixer will put you know, the sounds in the height speaker. So when it goes around, it sounds like it's going around me up high. Um, Yeah. And then the other part of the question was, want to see your take on front height versus overheads. Front height versus overhead. I use front height because I like Oro. I still want to be able to use uh, Atmos. And Atmos is, both of them are compatible with you know, certain degrees, right? So what you want to look for is the angle, um, not necessarily whether it's on your ceiling or wall, right? Because what you want is a particular angular separation between your ear level speaker and the height speaker, right? So that's going to change depending on how far you are from it, right? So the angle will, will change, right? If you get further away, It'll also change if your ceiling is higher or lower, right? So a lot of times your room and your ceiling height and the distance from the speaker is going to determine whether it's going to go on the wall or the ceiling. I'm talking about specifically, uh, more specifically, an Atmos setup, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, The requirement, because the requirement for, uh, for Oro is the same. You know, they recommend like 25 degrees minimum, 30 degrees is optimal, but another requirement that I have not seen from Atmos, and I could be wrong, is that the corresponding ear level speaker, uh, the height speaker should not be closer to the main listening position as the, I don't know if I said that, the height speaker shouldn't be closer to you uh, than the corresponding ear level speaker. So one way to to check that is if you were to get a tape measure and measure from your seat, right, your ear to, let's say, your left speaker, right? If you were to angle that up, keep that t- tape measure where it's supposed to be, angle that up, right? 
you could use a laser meet you know pointer or something like that you know laser um measuring thing mm-hmm. and uh basically it can't it can't be closer than that right so further is okay for oro but not closer so i had somebody ask me why why would it matter if uh your avr can you know can correct for time and um levels right it's just not the same right mm-hmm. a speaker closer to you your ear will be able to tell if a speaker is closer to you regardless our brain is just too smart so it for oro it should not be closer that's it if you're interested in joining us in the after show you can visit patreon.com forward slash daily hi-fi we'd love to hang out with you and get to know you better we're gonna have a lot of fun Thank you.